Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman and welcome to this short, um, it's not a demonstration, but it's more of a praising <laughs> of the Dane. The Dane. The Dane. Uh, the Dane is a handmade, British, beautiful pedal for my beautiful friend, Peter Honore. You'll know him as Danish Pete, because he is from Denmark. And um, <clears throat> I was really surprised when recently I went to Anderton's to do my two days of stupid videos with uh, Lee and um, Beazel and Pete. Pete basically is like the dad of the, the whole video environment at Anderton's. He's, he's, he manages that whole thing and he looks after us all. And he pulled this out for me. <laughs> It was great. I'm so excited, and um, and I really wanted to just show you how the Thorpey the Dane sounds in a way that I know that Pete won't demonstrate it because Pete is probably going to grab a Strat and he's going to get uh, he's going to whack it through a really crystal clean channel and do some beautiful blues and all the kind of things that he absolutely excels at and does way better than I ever will do because I'm not as much into that vibe that he is. But having used this pedal for a number of shoots um, with Lee and with Pete, I kind of worked out that actually it's tremendously good at doing lots of other things. And I don't think, I might be wrong, but I don't think Pete is gonna grab himself a Joe Satriani signature Ibanez, uh, crank up an OR100 with all of the valves <clears throat> on a very soft but lovely purring crunch and then push it via the Dane into a soaring 80s inspired lead and crunch tone. And so I thought I'd just show you a side of the Dane that probably some people won't try and use it for. So here goes, I'm just gonna give you a couple of tones. To start with, here's the OR100. I'm on the dirt channel, but as you can see, the dirt is severely lacking. Um, in a middle position, it sounds like this. Uh, just to give you tones, in, in a you know bridge position, it's this. So let's start with um, button number one, and I'm giving you close-ups now to show you what button number one looks like. And this is how I have set it with not too much gain, um, quite a bit of the, uh, the volume boost, and as you can see, the tone is just central. Here's button <laughs> number one. <laughs> It's so beautifully rich and harmonic and lovely, and what I'm really enjoying is all the backstory I know about how long it's taken them to get this made, and the prototyping, and how Thorpey worked with Pete so, so wonderfully, and there was no holds barred at all. They just wanted to make Pete a platform to whack in any clean amp and give him whatever he needed for the ultimate eventuality that I'm praying for, which is that Pete starts a little blues trio and does the whole Danish Pete blues movement that the world requires and I believe at some point that is his final form. Comment below if you believe so too. Because <laughs> you know Pete has been, he was on TV for three years just for example uh, as the guitarist for The X Factor. He has played guitar for massive artists um, and a lot of them in the pop 
kind of blues and sort of soul world, um, toured the world, done that, and then kind of stopped, had a family, and settled down, and is, is now working as, obviously, YouTube manager for Anderton's. But he's got this beast inside of him. <laughs> and uh, he's written these backing tracks recently, which you can download. This is an unashamed plugging for Pete, because I love the guy so much. But if you listen to the backing tracks, what's really cool is you go, wait a minute, these could just be tunes. He could just have written a whole album, but didn't yet. So anyway, I think he's got that coming up. Let's just go back over how the amp sounded before and then the after, and I'm using the middle pickup. <laughs> Spirit of Joe Satriani, who I think should collaborate with Peter Honore and make a Satriani Honore sandwich. If you add a little bit of the Inspire from New Neighbor, you get this really cool chorusal sound. <laughs> And it's a nice way to demonstrate how this pedal backs off. If I've got this full pelt. Chap, as you're crying at the screen, some of the random parody, uh, there's another button, <laughs> which is a more button, allowing boost. It goes through the gain section of the pedal and then to the amp. So from where we are now, you get this. my buddy Dave uh, trying to call to ask me how I am because I called him earlier with lots of technical problems to do with my um, my beautiful universal audio and uh, looks like I've blown a valve in my bad cap and I have one of the inputs set to lime and not not, uh, not mic and so I spent an hour being an idiot in my room uh, even more than I normally am. I've kind of centralized everything now, so this is what you get if you've got the boost 
and all the and sort of <clears throat> I've kind of centralized all of the knobs now to give you the beautiful lovely tones of the Dane. <laughs> Phone call number four out of the way. <laughs> and I've um, I've just discovered that Jeff Goldblum is on Hot Ones, so I'm not gonna be sitting here for much longer. Needless to say, go and try the Dane from Thorpey because it is my opinion that this is an absolutely incredible pedal. Uh, you don't have to play 80s saturated bullshit with it. It's not really meant for that, but it can. That's the cool thing. It's a flexible beast. It can do many, many things. Um, it comes with a little bit of Lego and some picks because Lego comes from Denmark. And obviously all of the details and instructions and also some, some cool settings that Pewter has um, given to show you. Go and try out this ridiculous hunk of Viking tonal metal from Thorpey and from Peter Honore and uh, you guys take it easy. Chappers out.